What's up, YouTube? It's Friday. <clears throat> I've been waiting for Friday for a while. <clears throat> Not really a while, but it was a short week this week at work because um, we had Monday off because <clears throat> of the holiday, but it felt like it dragged. Drag, drag, drag. Um, <clears throat> took a while. I thought, now we're finally Friday. <laughs> So we can just gotta put this tonight shift down and then we're good. And then wait out next week, Wednesday, for payday. <clears throat> which will be exciting because uh, we're getting some stuff taken care of. Um, finally being able to kind of crawl out from under debt. Some of you may understand debt, some of you may not. <clears throat> if you're not, well, kudos to you. Uh, but definitely... Um, been slowly getting out of a lot of debt over the years just slowly one at a time we'll be finally getting out of paying off my last two payday loans that I had a while ago um, <clears throat> they're actually closing down so they actually gave me a chance to uh, separate them over time and then pay them so this payday will be dropping $1,200 <laughs> on on it but then <clears throat> all is clear um i'm pretty happy about that uh you want to make good good credit and everything in the future and pay off debt and stuff like that it's a good feeling so with that said and done um i will no longer have to worry about come payday about paying something back or anything like that or running around for those of you who have ever been in a payday loan they suck if uh if you haven't seriously don't do them uh, they're not great. Um, it's fine Danny just a little to pay back, but sometimes when you get wrapped up in it and things happen, like life, um, doesn't always work out. So I am thankful that we're able to slowly, slowly pay off our stuff. Um, not so much our stuff, I'm going to call it my stuff. <laughs> uh, but <clears throat> yeah, so when we do that, um, it'll be exciting because I'll no longer owe anyone money. My payday will be my payday. Um, which will be fabulous because running around from one place to another to another to another to get stuff done to get your money back to move it forward to where you need it to be for bills and stuff isn't where you want to run around all day so with that said um, we're paying that off on payday on the 10th which will be exciting because I'll actually be able to pay off my credit card also um, and put money back on it um, to be able to use it again but <laughs> Uh, to be able to take it to the one stop like I was saying yesterday in my video or today whatever time that I want to I have to get my name changed because October I'll be seeing Dr. Warnicke and it's been about a year now so I was told to have it done next time so <laughs> um, we'll be doing that going to the the one stop place for all your license and registration and whatnot. Um, like I said before, I filled out a form that I have to get, like, I don't know, you hold your hand up and you, like a sworn whatever, like affidavit or whatever, um, where they'll, I, they'll hold it up for my, what do you call that, vital statistics, basically, um, what I'm putting out is to change, like I already got my birth certificate in with my real name, now I send vital statistics off so I can have them, request to have them to not post my info in the gazette so it would come up saying crystal party is now chris joseph party and i'm assuming like that's what they say to post um, you actually have the right to write in a letter to the place of vital statistics and have it pr approved that you don't want it um, i know a lot of people do is what i was told even when i got the form you just have to fill out your information on it they say yes or no i don't really want it um <clears throat> I don't want the hassle after. I'm not ashamed of anything, but I don't need someone to find out who I am to search who I am because they're not approving of that. No thanks. Um, <clears throat> I don't mind telling anyone. Got no shame there, but I don't need people tracking me down just because they read something. So, with that said, the vital statistics ones will hand off. Then I'll mail back um, my new one to get a birth certificate done, and then my. I don't know how much these are, like, not my fingers, but, um, prints, like, you get your prints done, so anything illegal that you might have done before or whatever, you can't just walk away from with your new name, it follows you, obviously. 
I haven't had anything illegal done, so I shouldn't have any problems um, getting my fingers done. So with that said and done, we got 300 bucks. Hopefully it's no more than 300 dollars, and then, because we already did some of it prior before. And then, like I said before, everything is just basically easy. We'll have the ID done, the birth certificate, and then I can go from there. Everything else I pay for, but I mean, it's not like I'm handing over my SIM card anytime soon to anyone. So I'll have time to change that over. Um, I have some store department cards, not really worried about. You can always get new ones there. I'll finally be able to change my info at the bank. No one likes having my first name called out in the bank because they know you by name. Um, so <clears throat> I'll have that change and then with everything being changed and finally done any new appointments that I'll have I'll be able to change all my doctor information they won't be calling a crystal party come up to the front and looking like this um, so yeah so I'm pretty excited about that um, I've been waiting a while for my name to be done and it will be good because end of way when we were talking about looking for new jobs a while ago and stuff like that so when it does come I'll have everything set in motion I won't be going through the whole changes all over again or slowly right so that's good um, so the 10th will bring more new changes I'm excited about that get out of some debt actual final debt that's exciting I'll never crawl back in it again I don't care who I date all those past relationships where people asked for money, didn't have money, needed money, got money for them, sent them money, didn't pay you back money, and then you're holding the bag with debt. So, <clears throat> I don't want that again. Um, and with that said, once it's paid off, it's paid off. Um, won't have to worry about it again, just worry about my name getting done. And then, like I said before, my editor, editor, utter video other video um i'll be doing my i had to change all my appointments well not all my appointments it was just one that was in september but i wouldn't be able to make it because of my blood work on the same day um so we moved that one to october which works out because it gives me a couple months more to financially get ready also to pay off other stuff too like some bills and stuff like that to get those straightened out of the way and then yeah, I'll be able to do my appointment for Dr. Warnicke, which will be on Friday, like I said, October 7th. And then Dr. Aiken will be that following Tuesday. Um, and then the same day is my blood work, so I'm going to probably have to go on a Monday to get my blood work done, which is fine. So I should change that online today <clears throat> while I talk about it so I can get it gone and make a new one. Cause it's an hour and a half away like I said to Edmonton that's good driving um, obviously from 8 in the morning you won't make the appointment for 10 um, <clears throat> that's like good driving that's if I get off on time it's if there's no delay at the blood work which sometimes there is um, so I don't want to run into any problems I don't want to call and cancel and they say too that a lot of times if you like call and cancel is one thing but if you um, miss a lot of appointments or keep putting them off they'll just take you off the list like I think that's more for if you don't call and stuff but nevertheless who wants to can't keep canceling and then think you don't really want to and this is for a hysterectomy <clears throat> I'm not one for surgeries but I'm definitely not one for periods uh, I don't like them I don't want them I didn't like them to begin with I'm not saying people like them but for you that know that you're gonna have babies or wondering if you're pregnant those are a lifesaver for you for the rest of us that don't need them it's a waste <laughs> Um, so I'm excited about that, not so much surgery, surgery bothers me for anything, but <clears throat> the fact that I won't have to have those anymore, very m m minor is what I'm told surgery, so I'm excited for that. And then Dr. Warnicke, I really don't know, I think we normally hit base at what's been going on, so he'll ask me what I've done the last year, so I've seen Dr. Mitchell a few times, I've been put on testosterone, I went from cream to shot, I've seen a um, a chest doctor in the meantime for referral for a surgery. Um, by that time, I'll be able to tell him that I'm seeing Dr. Aiken for a hysterectomy. Um, I'm not sure what else we're going to do that day. Um, I kind of forget even what we talked about that day. I think that day I went in that, like a year ago, he got the ball rolling and a lot of referrals. So I don't know what other referrals are. Uh, we might talk about more about the surgery because we were supposed to. Um, touch base again next time I came in about the bottom part of the surgery, the 
the types that you want and stuff and what I've been seeing um, are two different ones but what I've been I don't know I think it's phalloplasmy uh, but like I've seen a lot of people with the arm one um, don't know a lot about it I should look more into it but um, pretty sure it will be this one I know we talked about one before um, I have to go to Quebec I live in Canada, so I live in Alberta, but I'd have to fly to Quebec, which is all paid for. They pay for your hotel, your flight, all that Dr. Wonicky does. Well, like, his clinic, I'm assuming, not out of his pocket. Um, but So everything will be paid for um, to be done, um, but uh, I I don't, like, oh, no, I don't know. So what I was going to say was that the one that we were looking at um, takes three surgeries, so I'm not doing that one. I'm not going for one surgery, coming back, and then another time going back, and then another time going back. Three surgeries on your junk? No thanks. Um, and what would be done the first time? What would it look like the second time? And then the final third time? No. <clears throat> I am not a big flyer. I hate flying, to be honest. I'm not a big flyer. I hate it. Um, so I'm not really sure. It won't be the third one. Um, I did watch a video on someone's thing about like a thigh one that you take from but I'm not sure when it's a thigh one if that's the three or that's just the one surgery and then I see a lot of people on the YouTube with this one where they take parts of here and stuff and I mean if that's all it is minimal scar on your arm doesn't really bother me um the way I see scars is just another story to tell people are gonna ask you it's kind of like tattoos, but with a story, so <clears throat> that won't bother me so much, <clears throat> but yeah, so that's my, my little bit of update, a little bit of news, what's going on in the world, of course, and then uh, I should wake my girlfriend up, it's four, she told me to wake her up at four, actually it's ten after four, I'm a little late, <clears throat> so yeah, I hope you guys are all having a good Friday, hope everybody's going in gonna have a good weekend um i gotta work tonight and then it's a weekend saturday morning i got some new earrings though i don't know if you can see them but they're actually skulls let's see if we can do this yeah yeah So that's it. Alright. Well, I hope you guys all have a good day. Um, my dog is throwing his toy around. Yeah, so I hope you guys all are having a good day. Good Friday. Uh, cheers. And yeah, maybe we'll make a video and I'll see you guys on Saturday. Alright, peace out, guys. <laughs>